Hello, good evening everyone. This is Life Issue. Thank you so much for coming to my channel for another interesting trending news that is on every social in Nigeria now. Guys, this story is one of those stories that makes me wonder, are we moving forward or are we still where we are? When are we going to move forward in our electoral process in Nigeria? Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is why I'm here this afternoon to bring it to you. Please, before I start, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please help me hit the red button. If you are watching me on YouTube, if you are watching me on Facebook, please follow me. Also, please give us some star. Also, if you want to give us a little bit of super chat, we will appreciate that. That shows that you're supporting us and everything that we are doing. So remember to subscribe, remember to follow, and please, we'll appreciate your comment on this particular story. All right, guys, we know that temper is high. Nigerians are so angry because of the fact that we were promised an electoral process that was going to be transparent for the first time in our life we were told that our vote we count so nigerians actually went out to register to vote the youth mainly wanted to have a say in the electoral process in nigeria for the first time we were promised by the INEC chairman that they will use beavers and that this would be transmitted electronically i mean as the post vote is being counted we will get the results electronically now we know since march 25th after the election we are still on the matter if you go to the beavers or the rf portal vote has still not been uploaded as the presidential vote um the house of uh, the senate one went a little bit smoother but the governorship and the presidential there have been a lot of controversy over them and so we know what happened we know how our rights and our voices was taken away and nigerians are in court now i mean they told some political parties to go to court some of them are in court we have seen even as of today with the run-ups going on with you know the whole i say now the supplementary election going on in some states is still as if it's business as usual i mean the incidents of corruption bribery i mean it's there the videos are there and you know sometimes as a nigerian it, you know it makes me very angry that we have this evidence documented is there it is glare they can see it but they've not done anything efcs have not done anything uh jesus have not done and no arrest nothing the police nothing so this brings me to the present story of aisha the hero bene and her mandates now of course if you know the story you will know that she is the one that is running under the apc flag you know flag she's the ex fpc flag bearer and she's been very very controversial because of the fact that i mean her candidacy has been very cool because she's a woman and she's running up not of course being a muslim woman running to rule other muslim men there's been a lot of talk about it and you know there's so much about her and her story now the first election that was done on the 25th of march it was predicted or they said that she defeated ribadu who happens to be the former efcc person she defeated some of the people that you know mel that they taught had the upper hand over her because she's a female but then that particular election was cancelled and yesterday there was a supplementary election in adamawa okay 
Now, this, <laughs> I have a lot of things to say about this woman because for me personally, um, she's someone that, you know, she, she's, in, she's been in government for some time now. She's been a serving senator. Um, she, she, she's part of the system. She's not someone that you say, okay, her hands are clean. No, she isn't. She's part of the system. She's run under APC. APC, the ruling party, they've not done anything. She has not been speaking out. I know she's, she has some things that you can say she's doing for her people. When it comes to national issues, she's not been speaking out. We've not been hearing her voice. But maybe in the north she's speaking. I don't know. But I haven't had, to be frank with you, I don't know her until that, that um, April 25th. That's when I got to know her. But there's something about her that actually puts me off. And it was the fact that her company was used by INEC to purchase all of our electoral material. Now, we know how compromised the election has been. And even though what INEC is telling us is that they were not aware it was her company. And I'm like, this is someone that is a senator, someone that you guys know very well. And the company's name is the same sole name, Binani Printing Press Limited. You don't know is her is you know is her printing press. Anyway, that's that's one thing. I don't, for me personally, I do not. I don't. I'm not very sympathetic towards her, even though she's a woman. I just feel like you know. I mean, I'm talking me personally, my personal opinion. I just feel like she's same of the same. That she's part of the system. So I am not actually in any way unhappy about what is happening to her because i just feel like if she was one of those that have been manipulating this election that her company actually helped in the process of this election then whatever comes her way that's fine okay let's dive into the story so basically this guy declared her winner of Adamawa State's gubernatorial election. Now, this was before the final collation of the results. So there were there were other local governments that were still being counted, and this drama happened. Guys, watch this drama. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no. Uh, I, I mean, I, I don't have the full video. I wish I could get the full video for you guys to watch. So basically, this guy, from what I can get, happens to be the rec officer. Now, if you know Nigerian electoral process, it's not the rec officer that announces the result. It's the returning officer that normally announce the results. So this guy happens to, his name is Parista Hadu Hanuswa. He's the INEC rec in Adamawa State. And he's not the returning officer. He's just the audacity. How I wish I have the full video. Let me see if I can get the full video for you guys so you can watch what this guy did. He walked into the auditorium and he just announced the results. Now, <laughs> this is a man that is not even supposed to be announcing the result, And he did that. He's not supposed to be announcing the result, but he went ahead and did it. And even though people were trying to shut him, let me just, you know, I think you guys need to watch the whole video. Let me just get the video so you can watch what actually played out. And let me, let me just play for you fools. Let me share the screen. Yeah, it's on Lindy Cage's page. Okay, watch this. All 
Uh, I'm just going to think that's the, is the audacity for these people to feel that they can do anything. The votes were still being collected. It's not yet fully announced. There are some LG. I think there are like 10 of them. They've not even, local government have not even finished collecting their results. And this man actually announced Aisha Binani as the winner of an inconclusive election. And he was doing it like with what can you do? Even when people were telling him to stop, there were still some local government that have not been collected. This guy went ahead and announced her as winner. And you know, to see how these people mastermind and plan this, this woman went ahead and announced herself as the winner. Watch. Made history in electing the first female governor in our, in our country, Nigeria. This will no doubt broad, broaden political participation by encouraging our daughters, sisters, aunties, mothers, and indeed the girl child. Can you imagine the, how oh God, the country that we live in, the impunity that an election is not finished yet. They are still collating results, but they already went ahead to declare her the winner. If not for people that were there shouting and this went viral, that was how they could have manipulated it. And even the worst part is that the person that announced, you know, I, I don't know, this video got me thinking about the country that we live in. You can see a military man there, a policeman sitting beside this guy. They know that he is not the returning officer. They know he does not have the power to call an election. But they sat there and they watched him and he did that and he did not do anything. What kind of a country do we live in? What kind of lawlessness have APC gotten us into? And what people are saying from I'm I'm going to post and I'm seeing that this guy has confessed that he was paid two billion naira in order to announce the result in her favor. Now this is what is out there. That's the story that is out there. Okay. Hey, hey, Father Lord. You see when when the people becomes very hopeless like you know we're helpless because we are hopeless like you don't know where your meal is coming from you don't know what's going to happen to you there is no job so you, you kind of like remove your humanity you remove that thing that makes you to have empathy and to have feeling for the rest of the world, all you're thinking about is your selfish end, what you can get. And even if you are not abiding by the constitution of the country, you do not care. I mean, why should he care? If the INEC chairman could announce the results of the presidency in the middle of the morning or early in the morning when everybody was sleeping while Results were still being collated. Of course, why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? If his own boss got away with it, of course he could think he could get away with it. But unluckily for him, INEC has now said that that result has been nullified. And they have now arrested him. I don't want to show you guys the video where he was beaten. I don't want to show you. But this guy got got he got he got some some beating from Adamama people. But INEC has come out to say that um, the declaration was wrong. They've nullified this and the process. Now you guys understand that process is important. Was it not what P2B has been talking about? The process, the process. Finally, INEC is using that word process. You see, until we've streamlined and fine-tune the process of our electoral arts and the way our election is conducted, this will continue. Imagine if there, if we don't have obedience, 
don't have this obedient movement where people are very conscious of the election, where people are part of the election process, where they know what is going on. Can you imagine that this is how this will have been getting away with Blue Mother all these years? Because we were not interested. We didn't care enough to question them, to ask her about this process. But now because people are interested, they're educated, they know, they're questioning it. And then their impunity is coming out. And we now know that these people have actually bastardized our electoral process. But the question now is, how can we rectify this? How can we sort out this mess? Because INEC will not. INEC is not going to. He's not. A criminal cannot clean up a process that they are also partaking of the crime proceed. It's not going to happen. So, I mean, I don't know what we're going to do, but actually there is confusion in the Tower of Baba. I, I think this person is right. To be frank with you, the INEX chairman cannot clean up this, this system because his hand is already stained. This was the same thing that he did for Tinubu. When an election was not concluded, it was just it was still collating results. He announced Tunubu as the presidential elect. So who is he to question Adamawa? Who are they? The guy is learning business from you guys now. You guys taught him. He's learning from the father. Yeah, you've taught him the process of, of rigging. So what, what? Oh God, you know, it's just it's just a hopelessness. I'm feeling handicapped. We can't do. What can we do? What can we do? I know people keep saying, congratulations. Can we? I don't come to be frank with you. I do not in any way, any way support this woman because of the fact that I feel that she's part of the people. She's part of them. Okay. And people from Adamaw are even saying that Governor Fetri is the one, is, is a Fintiri, is the one that won. So we need, we need to listen to Adamawa people. Why do they want to impose this woman on them when they don't want her? You know, the electoral process in Nigeria, I do not know how we're going to... Nigerians are talking about this. You know, it's talking. Isn't this the trend you start? Yeah, it's a trend that INEC chairman started. So why is he arresting his boy? The guy learned business from you. So I don't know why he's arresting them. He learned me business the same way you took billions, the same way he has taken his own money. And, you know, when our representative can give people billions to make them governor, it makes me wonder how much do they make in that office? Why are they willing to squander their state treasure, treasury to, to squander their people's money just to be governor or senator or house of rep. They don't care. They can spend any amount of money just for power. Anyway, the, 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 the drama continue. We, we wait to see what Enik, Enik is going to say on this particular matter. As it is now, and the more people they are on the streets, <laughs> from what I can see, uh, I mean, until the APC divide this country and you know bring down this country, they will not rest. They don't want to rest. I think where they are heading to is anarchy. That's where they, are. they want. That's where they. That's where they are heading to. They will not stop until something bad happens. I don't know why Buhari is not doing anything. I mean, people are talking, but APC, they are not listening. All they want to do is to win at all costs. It does not matter. We must win. But there must be a point where we need to actually call them out and stop them. I don't know what you guys think about this story. We need to be talking about it on our wall. We need to actually hold INEC accountable to whatever that will happen in Adamawa. That's my take on this. Thank you so much.